wie schön. I cannot cover for you, Lord Craven. The facts are conclusive. You murdered your mistress. It wasn't me. You have no proof, not a whit. A couple of whiskies go down fast for an alcoholic. That left you plenty of time for murder. That's ridiculous. I am no alcoholic. And there are witnesses who will attest I was there for at least a quarter of an hour. You entered the room just as Miss Emma was hiding the diamond. Discovering that she was the thief was the final straw. Preposterous! I didn't know a thing about it until you showed me her stash. You have bruised knuckles and you look a mess. The poor woman fought for her life and you bear all the evidence. This whole evening was a mess. You know I got into a scuffle with the medium in the seance room. Nothing has changed since then. There's plenty of proof, sir. The police would certainly arrest you. You scoundrel. You said you would help me. I had nothing to do with it, as you will soon see. There is a more charitable interpretation. Miss Emma was a thief of unsavory character. Perhaps she threatened you, forced you to fight for your life. Are you... You suggest I lie to the police? Escape blind justice? Your lover was a corrupting influence. She stole from you, lied to you, and drove you to violence. You deserve a second chance. If you apply yourself and some of your wealth, you could do a great deal of good outside of jail. I will tell the police what I learned about Miss Emma, and no more. Well, even if you don't believe I'm innocent, you've given me a chance to prove it. Thank you for staying on my side. Hmm. <laughs> I am needed elsewhere. Gentlemen, when this matter is resolved, I'll see to it you are sacked. This treatment is unbecoming for a man of my status. Mr. Holmes, you are my witness. Look at him. The murderer playing the indignant victim. He should be a politician. He certainly has the means. I hope he also possesses the character to do better and do good. I don't think he was I think we have a mistake. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness. So we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything. Even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Mm, I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, damn. Well... Take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. Mein imaginärer Freund John. John ist seit meiner Kindheit mein Freund. Es fällt ihm schwer zu akzeptieren, dass nur ich ihn sehen kann. What? Er ist nicht... Er ist nicht wirklich da? Dude. What? Lol. Oha, der rennt. 
Ui, der ist schnell. Where do we go? Schnieke. Touristfreundlich, kreativ, freundlich, genial. Come on, Sherry. Why walk when we can ride? When we can Come on, ride. Sherry. Why walk when we can ride? Ride. Come on, we ride. A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? Funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. Erinnerung an die Beerdigung. John fragte mich, ob ich mich an die Beerdigung meiner Mutter erinnere. Das tue ich nicht, aber ich kann versuchen, mehr Details wieder ins Gedächtnis zu rufen. Es wird es auf den Friedhof Himmel zu gehen. Den Grabstamm meiner Mutter kenne ich an der Statue eines weinenden Engels. Ein weinender Engel. Huch. Oder müssen wir mit dem Typ reden? <lacht> Weil das ist so der, das einzige Grab mit dem Engel drauf. Und er hört hier auch auf zu rennen, also. Dude. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. Mycroft und ich mussten unmittelbar nach der Beerdigung nach London aufbrechen. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastors said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon. Nur wenige Leute waren bei der Beerdigung anwesend. Mycroft hielt mich fest, bis ich mich beruhigte. Ja, ich war da gar nicht dran. Ein 
pocket watch. It seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Unbekannter Grabbesucher. Jemand hat die Kerze am Grab meiner Mutter angezündet und dort eine Taschenuhr zurückgelassen. Jemand war am Grab. Okay. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, Mother. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. A candle in a small puddle of wax. Cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? Die Taschenuhr hat meine Mutter gehört. Die Kerze wurde vor kurzem angezündet. Modische Schuhe, nagelneu. 27, 2 Abstand. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prints suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. You were about to tell me the make and model of tire, but let me assure you, I do not care. Hmm. Ah, well, it was going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. It's stained with oil paint. A portable easel was kept there. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. The hospital are crypts. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. An artist working in a cemetery? Do you think he'd paint my portrait? Hey, oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. <laughs> Be nice, Sherry. Make friends. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I've forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. 
Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. Im Archiv des Rathauses der Polizeiwache und des Cordona Chronicle findest du wie möglich Schlüsselinformationen für deinen Fall. Bevor du ein Archiv aufsuchst, um dort Nachforschungen zu einem Hinweis aufzustellen, solltest du darüber nachdenken, in welchem Archiv du am ehesten fündig wirst. zu der Brücke. ist da oben. Oder auch nicht. Was ist hier? Oh mein Gott, wie schön. 